Hey guys, it's August 23rd, which is Tuesday, and I just finished this video here. So I'm moving on to this next one here to finish off the little shapes in this bag. If you watch this video, you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch back to the first video, which is this one here. And then the second video is this one here. It's a little series. And then this one, okay? So, and I'll explain what I'm doing in those videos. Um, well, not those videos, this video. I think the first one is where I explain. And I kind of talk about it a little bit in the other ones, a little bit. But right now, what I'm gonna do is finish up the, the shapes that are in the bag. These are scrapbook um, die cuts that you use in scrapbooking. And we're using them a different way. And the shapes that I have left are, let's put that aside so you can see. This shape here, I've got, Three little squares left. Three, I think. No, four. Four little squares left. Okay. And then we've got a handful of little circles, like punched out circles. Okay. So in this video, we're going to use the rest of these and we're just going to make a little tag. So let me get organized here and I will get back and we'll get started. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is cover this, this shape. <clears throat> and it was, I don't know what it was designed to be, but we're gonna make it a tag. And I'm gonna use deco page and just put it on here. And I don't know how much talking through this video I'll do because um, I don't know what to talk about. And also because I've done several of these and you can go back to the first one and get all the good um, information on it. So anyway, Bailey's still doing good. She's off her pain medicine, which I'm really glad for. Pull this up before it sticks. I'm not using my non-stick mat, so I didn't get it quite straight, but you know what I say about those kinds of things, right? Oh well. <laughs> That's what I say. Oh well. Oh well. Okay. And then I'm going to cut this out. So I'll do that off camera so you don't sit here and watch me cut. So I'll be right back. Okay. So we've got this on here. So I'll cut out. I'm gonna leave the back like this because uh, I may paint it, I may just leave it, I don't know. We'll decide later. But right now I'm gonna take some gesso and just scrape it across here. I'll probably pour too much out. I'm going to dry this real quick and then I'm going to come back and put a coat of this um, African Violet and I'm still using this deco art box. That's all I've been using for any video I've done since I've been back in Tennessee. All my paints are still in a box somewhere so I'm using this deco art paint and I really like it. Americana is my favorite. Um, this is Crafters Acrylic. I don't know I don't know what the difference is but this is a little watery maybe but Anyway, I'm going to dry this and then I'm going to come back and probably put a little bit of this and a little bit of maybe white or maybe some gesso mixed in. I don't know. We'll see when I get back. So hang on. Hang on. Okay. I want this to be kind of thin. I don't know if I want this to show through or not. I, I kind of do. What's the point of putting it on there if you're not going to let it show through, right? But um, And this paint's a little thin, so I think that we have a good chance of it peeking through. Yeah, we do. All right, let's just put it on there. If I put it too thick, it'll cover some, but we're thinning it out. Not used to these brushes either. I'm still using brushes that just came in a cheap kids pack that I had 
handy. A lot of the brushes I use are just cheap brushes, but these I've never, these are like those value pack packs. So, but they work fine. It's just I'm getting used to them. Okay. Got that done now. And I am going to paint the back because I've already messed it up. I mean, we haven't been going, what, five minutes or so, and I've already messed it up, but, you know, that's typical if you know me at all. So, <laughs> not very not very neat. <laughs> so, let me look in this box here of little textury things that I've got, and I want to... Um, let's see, what are we going to use? Maybe this one. I just want to put a little bit of, where's my white? Nope. Or maybe I want black. Hmm. Go with white. Put a little bit of white out here. Just go over it wherever you feel like. Okay. And if you have leftover on your sponge, stick it somewhere. Somewhere that you can use it in your art. <laughs> Not just anywhere. <laughs> All right. Now, what have we got? Let's see what we have. And right, now we want to deal with these. I'm going to let this dry off to the side here. And I want to deal with these little squares. And I've got four colors. And I'm going to use this side because it's a lighter side easier to cover and we'll glue the other side down. So we're going to take the side that's lighter and I'm just going to paint um, these little squares and I might do it by hand. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. More than I need, that's for sure. And I'll probably put this part in fast forward because it's going to take me a few minutes to get them all color colored, painted. I have tweezers somewhere, but you know where they are, right? If you've been around a while, you know where they are. All right, that's one. So, you know what, I'll just turn the camera off. Instead of doing the fast forward in that way, the video will be shorter. Okay, so I'll come back when I've got the others painted. Okay, I have all the squares painted. They are drying because I put one layer on and it was kind of see-through on a couple of the colors. So I put a little layer of white and then I put another layer of the color and then I let that dry and then I added more paint with my fingers. So they need to dry for a little while. The next thing we're going to do is take all these little dots. All of them are out of the bag now. So I'm going to take those and I'm going to lay them all out here. I don't know if you can see them on my table or not because of this paper being so um, messy. <laughs> and I'm going to flip them over to the light side and I'm going to do the rest of this off camera. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. And I'm just going to paint them all black. Every one of them, they're going to be black. Okay? So, and there's more here than I really thought. So, we're going to figure out a way to use them. And I will be back in a minute after I've painted all these. Okay, 
got all my black dots painted. The squares are drying. They're almost dry. There's two that I'm waiting on. This is ready to go. And what I did was dug through the box of stuff that I've been working out of while I was creating this series. And I'm going to use some of these little rub-ons here that are alphabets. And I'm just going to put them all over this thing. No random order and not going to spell a word. Not going to do anything like that. So I got to find a stick to put them on with and then I'll, I'll be doing that. So I'll be right with you. Okay, I used this whole sheet on this and I went this away and this away and this away and that away and I even went over on top of ones that had already been done. So I don't know if you can see but I'll try and get you up there so you can see. I think you can see it there. Anyway, it's subtle but you can see it when you look at it and it's cute. All right. So now I've got my painted squares that we need to deal with. And when I put a layer of collage, um, I never, never remember what I'm using, deco page over this, this will seal down the, the letters. So now we need to put these on here and we need to decide how we want them. Maybe we want them straight. We gotta leave room for a hole. I probably should go ahead and add my hole now so that I don't cover it up by accident. Or we could go, every other one is turned. Or we could turn all of them. Don't know if there's room for them all turned. I like them turned that way. That's what I like. So let's put the hole in. And we'll put it up as close to the top as we can get. Kind of eyeball the center. And let's go right there. That's good. I'm not going to use that. Okay, so now let's put these on here like this. So one, two, three, and they all fit. Do, do they fit? They fit. Okay, that's what I'm going to do next. And I need this paper to do that on because I don't want to get glue on my table. But I've got to move all these little black dots off of it. So let me do that and we'll get started.
decided to go back over the little um, dots on the outside and get rid of the letters that I put there. So hopefully I can do it without making too big of a mess. And it was just too busy for me. Okay, maybe I want dots around the squares. Let's see. Kind of like that. Bailey's digging for us. She's getting back to her normal self, which is good. I'll have a moment of silence while I keep doing this <laughs> while she digs. If you're new, when Bailey digs, we have a moment of silence so that she can dig and we can hear her. In a few weeks, she won't be able to dig in here because I will probably have wood floors in here. It's the only place in the house we're putting wood, but I just didn't want carpet in here. So there should be carpet in the bedrooms, and the hallway, and the office, and the master ba uh, bedroom, and then, oops, and then uh, tile in the living room. Okay, I like that better. So I'm gonna dry that for a minute, and then I'll decide what to do. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. I don't know if I should do this, but this is what I wanna do because I saw it sitting off to the side and I thought I wanna use this because I really like how it looks whenever I've used it in the past. And this is my um, sponge heart that I cut out. And I like the, the marks it makes. So I'm thinking of just putting a heart on it, maybe two, we'll see. But uh, the First heart, I'm going to do two heart colors on top of each other, kind of offset, I hope. We could really mess this up now, guys. <laughs> we really could, but, you know, it's just the way it goes. It's just the way it goes. So I'm going to cover my heart with my first color and... going to plop it down in the center here, kind of at an angle. Okay, you can't really see it very well, but hold on and we'll get to it. Let me see what my phone's buzzing about. Okay. Let's put another layer of that color on. And it's not going to be solid because this sponge does not stamp solid. No sponge does that I know of anyway. Like, l not these kind of sponges. But I do want a little bit more of an impression than I got. So we'll just stick it back on top there, somewhere close to where it was. And try again. And the sponge is really wet. But, oh, that's better. Okay, now let me get this off. See how many impressions you can get? My goodness. I love using sponges like this. I need to cut some more out. I'm going to put a, another color on here and I'm probably not going to wait for it to dry very long. You might should, but you know how it goes. And I probably won't push quite as hard this time and I'm going to off center it just, just a little bit. There, I ah, like it. 
Okay. So that's all we have. And I thought I would do another set of hearts in another set of colors further up. Maybe I will. These dry. I moved the paper because it's still drying a little bit where these big blotches are. And I'm going to take my white gel pen. This is a jelly roll. And I'm just going to write in the hearts. I like to write little notes and things on things I make. So I'm just going to write a little note. <music> Camera, I whoop, whoop, whoop. I uh, hmm, what did I do? I just scribbled around the heart a little bit with my white jelly roll pen, or no, the Sharpie pen, and I did the black around the edge, which is very faint, you can't see it very well, but it's there. And then I painted the back blue and signed it, and then I sealed it, so it's been sealed, it's stronger now than it was. The only thing I haven't done is the um ribbon, not ribbon, I always call it ribbon, yarn. So we need to do that and then we're going to call this done. And then I'll show you a glimpse of all the projects together and call it a day because I need to go edit videos and probably won't do that today, probably do it tomorrow. But the uh, tile guy is coming by to install a niche in the shower. We're delayed again with waiting on some supplies and the guy to get back in town that's going to do the glass block. But at least the niche is here. It can be put in. So he's coming by. So I'm going to get through up here. And let's see. Do I want to trim this down? Any? Maybe a little bit. Hang on, I'll be right back with you. I'm going to do it off camera over my garbage can. Okay. So, that is that. We are done. And there's a stray little guy. All right. We have officially completed the first bag of... Uh, scrapbooking die cuts that was sent to me. The bag is empty and everything that was in the bag that we created is right here. So with all of the shapes provided in that bag that was intended for scrapbooking uh, scrapbook layouts we used in a mixed media form and it just shows you what you can do with supplies. You don't have to stick to what they were intended for. Just for example, these fabric swatches that she sent me um, were intended to be swatches just to see if you wanted to use this for your couch or your drape. Well, we're going to use them for other things. So you don't have to stick with what things are intended for. People probably get these in the mail, use them to pick out what they want, and then throw these away. I, You know, oh gosh, that just makes my heart hurt to hear that. <laughs> so, of the bag that we had, here's the first project. There is a video and you can go back and I will explain everything in that video about what I did and all the shapes I used. You'll see all the shapes and everything. I just call this one Crazy Bird because <laughs> I didn't know what else to call him. And the next one is Wolf. I made a little dog, his little tongue, a little mouth. All these shapes were in the bag. I didn't alter them in any way. 
And then the second one, our third one, was um, once in a while blow your own blank horn. I won't say the word again. It's not bad. It's not a bad, bad word. I'll say it, but I don't want to say it on video in case some little innocent ear is listening. So there is the little girl blowing her bubble. That was the third video. See, there's a video on that. These two here, I think, are mostly fast forward. This one's fast forward a little bit, but there's more talking explaining. Um, so I'd start right here if you're starting the series. And this is the tag that we used the remaining bits in the bag to create. Fun. Lots of fun. Really lots of fun. Enjoyed it very much. So I'm going to make another uh, series using another bag. Like, for example, I might pull out just hap happenstance, just this bag. I might just pull this one out of the pile. It's got a horse in here, a rocky horse and a sun, and it looks like a diaper pen and a bunch of dots and another little tag thing here. So we could create all kinds of stuff with this. You don't have to use this for scrapbooking. And what can we do with this horse? Who knows? Till you get started? I don't know. So we'll be doing more of those type videos in a series probably. So sort I of like the Happy Mail projects. I really enjoy creating something like that. It's kind of a challenge. Um, I do enjoy taking this and kind of making it like a puzzle and creating something from it. So this is today's project. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for being here. If you're new, welcome. Thanks for being here. I'm glad you're here and I hope you enjoy the videos. And if you're not new and you've been here a while, I appreciate you guys very much. Thank you very much for being here. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.